Next tonight, a Jamaican-born nurse who cared for British soldiers during the Crimea War has become the first named black woman to be immortalised with a statue in the UK. The statue of Mary Seacole was unveiled in the grounds of St Thomas's Hospital today following a 12-year campaign. Ron K. Phillips was there for the grand unveiling this lunchtime. An eight-foot tribute to a woman who made a towering contribution to public life. Her medical bag over her shoulder and marching onto the battlefields of the Crimean War. This was a day of pride for those who spent 12 years campaigning for Mary Seacole to be honoured. This is an incredible woman who is a role model to us all because we all have to face adversity, we all have to face obstacles. But when you're determined, you know you can break down those barriers and that's what she showed. Oh, what an amazing, amazing woman. And, and I mean, her story is incredible. And what she had to overcome, the obstacles she had to come overcome just to, just to, uh, uh, to apply her trade, just to do what she had to, had to do. For decades after her death, Mary Seacole's story was overlooked, but now this painting of her hangs in the National Portrait Gallery. And the Jamaican-born nurse who used her own money for a clinic to treat wounded soldiers is a statutory part of the national curriculum. The Mary Seacole statue is on the same site as the school founded by the other great nursing heroine, Florence Nightingale. But despite efforts by critics to compare the two women, Supporters say there is room for both. Why can't we live the space for two great women? One was white, the other was black. And we need to acknowledge that black people have made a contribution to the wealth and health of this country for generations. And at this time, let's celebrate our inclusivity. Let's stop being nimbies and come together and say they were both wonderful. Two pioneering nurses honoured in different ways. And for Mary Seacole, recognition at last as one of the heroines of Crimea. Ronke Phillips, ITV News.